Hi, Mr. Masuri here. Today we're going to learn about how to name atoms. Now, to start off with, I've got a little cheat sheet right here. So on this cheat sheet, I've listed some of the key terms that we've learned before in this unit. We've learned that the atomic number is the number of protons. We've learned that the mass number is the total number of protons and neutrons. We've learned that the element is determined by the number of protons. We've learned that the electrons start with the same number as the number of protons. And finally, we know that the full name of an atom requires you to know the element and the mass number. One of the biggest challenges students face when learning to name atoms is keeping all this information straight. So I would suggest making a cheat sheet like this in order to help you out. Let me uh, work through a uh, first example to show you how this would go. So here's the problem. It says, in a potassium-37 atom, tell me the number of protons, the number of electrons, and the number of neutrons. Now, in order to do this, the uh, first thing we would have to do is figure out the number of protons. Well, you notice that requires you to use a periodic table. We know that the number of protons tells you the element. So here's my periodic table. And I know that potassium is right here, and potassium has an atomic number of 19. It has 19 protons. So, because I know that element is potassium, I can use a periodic table to know that that starts with 19 protons. Next comes the electrons. Well, I know all atoms start with the same number of electrons as protons. So, if it has 19 protons, it must start with 19 electrons. The last one, and the hardest one to figure out, is the number of neutrons. So to do this, we have to realize that this full name here, that 37, is the mass number. That means this 37 means that there's 37 protons and neutrons all together. Now, we know that there are 37 protons and neutrons all together. Out of those 37, because it's potassium, we know that 19 of those are protons. So how do we find the number of neutrons? We subtract. So if we subtract 19 from 37, we get 28. And that tells us that out of the 37 protons and neutrons, 28 of those must be neutrons. So this is how you would figure out the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in an atom if you are given the full name of the atom. 